we're somewhere outside of Boulder in a small town. These are promotional models. You guys are familiar with, with some of the promo models that car companies have used over the years to sell cars when they didn't have dealerships that could hold all the cars. So they have little promo models. This dude right here, he's got a wicked cool collection. This right here, you think that's a lot? Not even. This dude is off the chart. Let's go talk to him. This is Steve, my new best friend, because you have an incredible collection of these promo models. Uh, this is not a small collection. How many do you have? I don't know. On display, maybe a thousand. Okay. But why these cars? You know, I mean, some people it's Hot Wheels, some people it's Corgis. Why these cars for you? These are actually the history, part of the history of the car. They were made for the manufacturers to help this car sell the cars when they were new. Yeah. And was it was it primarily because dealerships were too small and they couldn't have all the cars? No, that was one of the many reasons. I yeah. mean, they used it for a lot of different occasions, but but in you know a lot of small town dealers wouldn't have room for a lot of cars on the showroom floor, so they could order in. For example, in the early '50s, Chevy made just about every model and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, many of the what colors. was the average amount of colors? Uh, I don't know. Back in the fifties, maybe fifteen twenty. Mm. Um, and of yeah. course, as years went by, that narrowed down yeah. quite a bit. That's a lot of models for you, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your first one? Uh, no, the firecrackers took care of that. <laughs> But that's, that's why they are valuable yeah. because yeah. everybody, I was no different than everybody else. They got broken. You know, yeah. toy is a terrible thing to give a kid. Yeah. And uh, Well, how old were you when you got your first one? Uh, I got a real crude one in 1957, so I was four. Yeah. And uh, I got my first detailed one, a dealer. And that was uh, it. So what, is, what is the Holy Grail car? What's the one car that would be the... Uh, either you have it, you don't, but it's the one car everyone would be searching and would love to have. Well, recently, um, the 1969 Mach 1 promo has been very, very sought after. Mm -hmm. the, um, there's one that sold on eBay for over $4,700 recently. 67 Corvette is another sought after car. 66 uh, a Plymouth Valiant, believe it or not, is one of the most sought after. It was. Um, I guess the model company didn't want to make it, but Chrysler uh, insisted that they make a short run, so they, they were speculated they made as few as 200 of those, mm -hmm. and uh, very, very uncommon. Do you have those cars? I, I have them. Um, I did have a 66 Valiant, but someone offered me such stupid money, <laughs> I, I had to let it go. Yeah. But this one is unusual. This was given to Dell Webb. Are you familiar with Dell Webb? Dell Webb was one that, that made Sun City. He did uh, a lot of housing developments, and he owned the Yankees. He, uh, I mean, he owned a lot. But in 1964, he had an Indy race team, and Ford presented this very car to him. He gave it to his photographer, and then I got it from his wow. photographer. And he this um, the '69. Mach 1 is the one that sold recently, like it, for $4,700. The one with the stripes or the regular one? The regular one. Okay. This, well, these Corvettes, uh, they get very valuable. This is a 67 Corvette, which is um, pretty valuable. I, I noticed in one of the magazines they had mentioned it in the auction results that one went for over $2,500. Um, this is the original 53 Corvette which has very low value. They made a lot of them. Which, which one is your most valuable? Not, not monetarily, but sentiment, sentimentally. Perhaps uh, just because we own the real cars, a 63 Mercury Meteor, and the promo was so very rare that uh, I really, I, I like that. Do you have that car? Yes, I uh -huh. Let's see that.
Okay, well, I'm just gonna spend some time looking at these models and show you guys a little bit more, but thank you, man. That was you really bet. great stuff. Very cool.